What's up viewers, welcome to my weekly Wednesday vlog and today I'm gonna be at the studio recording, uh, putting down some drum tracks for songs we're gonna be recording. You probably know the Sarajevo Drum Orchestra from the video I posted during the summer of our trip to Croatia to a music festival and now we're gonna be recording. We're bringing our own makeshift studio here to this stage and we have 300 kilos of equipment which we'll be using. It's our super awesome personalized recording studio. Okay guys, well that is actually all the recording I got to do during our studio time. So now this is another day and I'm going to be telling you what happened in retrospect. I hope that's not cheating. So we had, like I said, 300 kilos of our own equipment to create our makeshift studio. And that included everything from drum stands to microphone stands. They're like, I don't know, 20 stands. I had to put them all up and line them up for all the different equipment we had. And we had our own case of microphones, which had like, I don't know, seven different mics inside, long diaphragm, this. I don't even know what they're all called. And they call me the tech nerd. They're I was just like staring at all the equipment. I was like, wow, this is so awesome. We had our own computer and our own preamp for the microphone. It came with studio speakers. It looked completely pro. We hired our own studio guy who was mixing it all for us. He did... I, we we set up the equipment, but he did all the hooking up and all the, um, what's it called, relaying inside the program. And he was mixing all the sounds and stuff, setting up the positions of the mic. It was pretty awesome to watch. And then we have to set up the drums themselves, put them on their stands. We had to test out the sound. We have to put microphones for each of the drums and test the sound, which was kind of fun playing on them. And so the way this place was laid out, it's a stage. So we used the side of the stage with the curtains as the little studio boxes where each of the drums were separated. So like behind each curtain, in between each of the curtains, there were like three different curtains. In between each one, each one of us, which there are four of us, we had our drum set up there and we would play on it in kind of separate cabins, which would it wouldn't do much for the sound, I guess, but it would help each of the drummers to concentrate on exactly what they were playing. And of course, after that came the recording part where they pretty much just put on the metronome and started playing to the beat. I was I had the opportunity to film this whole thing and the reason I was doing this is because later at a different location on a different day I'll be putting down my own tracks because I play the smaller percussive instruments and they require a little bit more sound so I record we recorded them separately and then we mixed them into the final mix in post so if you saw the summer vlog you already know what the different instruments are but I'm gonna give you a quick description so the repanique which is what Gordon plays, is a small Brazilian instrument. It's got a very high-pitched sound, and it gives the commands for the most part just because it's so high-pitched. So usually he gives a command, and the rest of the drums follow. For example, during the break or an ending, so we know what's going on, he's in control. The surdo, or the bass, is the bass drum. It's super low, and it gives the beat for the entire orchestra. It's a pretty awesome drum. It's like bam and makes the floor and rings. I mean, makes the floor ring and shatters the glass. The snare. I mean, every musician knows what the snare is. It's the main drum, pretty much, of any drum kit because it's got snares and it gives a really punchy popcorn sound, like pow, and everybody hears it. I played the agogo, which is like the bells, and the shaker, which is the shaker. The shaker keeps the pace for the entire rhythm and the bells add a really nice decoration on top of the beat which make which adds color and makes the rhythm sound amazing. So actually on the second location when I was playing we had a slightly simpler setup but it was still pretty awesome with a nice pointy microphone and that connected to a nice audio card and into the computer. It was pretty simple but the sound was really clear and nice. Well thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you think about our playing and I'll see you around. Cheers.